Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the law of syllogism. So before we begin the lesson, I wanted to show you a quick 30 second YouTube video over kind of what it is. Cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When you pay too much for cable, you feel down. When you feel down, you stay in bed. When you stay in bed, they give your job to someone new. When they give your job to someone new, he has a lot to learn. When he has a lot to learn, mistakes are made. And when mistakes are made, you get body slammed by a lowland gorilla. Don't get body slammed by a lowland gorilla. Get rid of cable and upgrade to direct TV. All right, so uh, that's kind of what law of syllogism is. When one thing kind of leads to another. Um, that's a crazy example of that saying that whenever you, uh, your cable bill is too high that you'll get body slammed by a gorilla. But that's kind of what we're saying. Um, and it'll make a little bit more sense when we're talking about math, right? So our transitive property, if A is equal to B and B is equal to C, then A is going to be equal to C. So this is actually really logical if you think about it because if A is equal to B, and B is equal to C, we can cancel out this middleman over here, right here, and just say that A is equal to C. Okay, well, that's cool for just letters, but let's assign some numbers to it. Let's try and talk about it like that. Well, if we say that A is equal to 9, those look too similar. I'm going to say, I'm going to say uh, 4. Let's say A is equal to 4. So if A is equal to 4, and we already said that A is equal to B, well, what does B equal then? Well, B is equal to 4, right? Okay, well, what does C equal? Well, we already said that B is equal to C, so what is C equal? C is equal to 4. So they're all equal to each other. So is it fair to say that A is equal to C? Yeah, it is, because 4 is equal to 4. That's correct. So it makes sense when you're talking about strict, straight numbers. Um, let's look at some more other examples. So, if you wear school uh, school colors, then you have school spirit. And if you have school spirit, then you feel great. And so, if you wear school colors, then you feel great. Okay? So, it's saying, this is our A up here. I'm going to use capital A. This is our B this is our B, school spirit, school spirit, right? And then this is our C. Therefore, A is equal to C, okay? Let's look at another example really quick. If I don't study, then I will fail geometry. If I fail a class, then I can't play video games. Therefore, if I don't study, then I can't play video games, right? So. Stop playing video games and study, because if you don't, then you can't play it anymore. All right, here's a geometry example. So if A is supplementary to B, and B is 115, then we have to assume that A is 65. Why? Well, the definition of supplementary is uh, the angle A plus the angle B is equal to 180, right? Well, we already said that B is equal to 115. So we've replaced this with 115. Angle A, whoops. Okay, now we just have to solve, right? So we say subtract 115, and we get angle A is equal to 65, 5. Here we go. And that is the transitive property or the uh, law of syllogism.